Now we want to talk about level two balance activities. So level two balance activities are what we consider dynamic balance, uh, but primarily what we call anticipatory control. So these are movements that the patient is uh, inducing themselves or know or expecting it to happen. Um, so we'll go through a progression that you could use with uh, this dynamic anticipatory types of control. So the first thing we're gonna work on is just step out just a little bit forward there. Perfect, right there. Um, we're gonna work on what's called limits of stability. So we're gonna work on your ability to lean forward, backwards, and side to side, mainly at your ankles. So we're working primarily what we call an ankle strategy here. So just have your feet like that, comfortable width apart. And what I want you to do is just go ahead and lean forward for me, kind of like you're a ski jumper, as far as you can, without falling. Good. And then come back to the middle. And if you'll notice, you can come back, good. And you'll notice that the safety lines provide a check for that. If you feel like they're engaging too early, you can always add a little bit more line into that by just pulling on the um, orange webbing here and, and pulling a little line out. I'm gonna give you not quite that much leash. So we've added a little extra slack, just a little bit. So now go ahead and lean forward, just at your ankles, at your toes. Whoa, good, so you can just take a good step there, which is fine. So now we've done the forward lean. Now I want you to lean backwards. So just bring your weight towards your heels and then try to catch yourself and come back to the center without falling. Good. Now if she were to fall backwards, so go ahead and lean back and then kind of stumble a little bit there. We've got the back support and back pad here to catch her, um, to give her a little security there. She's also got the arm rests here, the arm uh, pieces that she can touch to give her a little security. Good, now we're gonna lean, and bring your feet together for me a little bit. Now we're gonna lean sideways to your left. Good, without falling as far as you can. Now shift your whip, <laughs> there you go, good catch. Um, so again, that the uh, arm supports can provide a little check in the lateral, lateral position. If you feel those are in your way, you can actually flip those up out of the way and give her more room to move. Okay, so now let's lean to this side. And then back to, whoop, there you go, and back to your middle, good. So good, good challenge here, this is limits of stability. Um, now we can take those limits of stability and apply it to something a little more functional like reaching. So now we're gonna go ahead and bring our rolling table here, and we're gonna work on that forward reach here. So first of all, I want you to go ahead and can you reach for that cup for me without moving your feet? Nice, well done, okay. Now, I want you to keep your feet in that same position. Take the cup. I want you to place it over there, but keep your feet where they're at. If you can. Excellent. Good. So now then do some more of a lateral shift and also a front shift with that. So um, with this rolling table, we can change positions quite easily. We can raise it up higher. We can lower that down to get some different movements and effects. Another thing I like to work on as far as dynamic balance um, is using a ball. So we're going to have you hold on to this ball for us here to start with. And I want you to work on just some moving this ball in a diagonal movement. So I want you to bring it up to one side like this. Then I want you to bring it down towards the opposite hip. And do that again for me. Up and down. Good. Now let's do the opposite diagonal. So I want you to bring it up towards this right shoulder and then down towards the hip there. Good, excellent. So working on some nice dynamic anticipatory control and ball movement there. Um, we can then make this a little more challenging even by now doing a ball toss. So we're gonna go ahead and toss the ball to you. Good, we can change directions. Speed, we can bounce it, <laughs> of course, good. We can also do some kicks. So let's go ahead and kick that back to me. Good. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Um, progressing even further here. So now what we're gonna do is give you an opportunity to do a little more faster movements. We're gonna give you, these are called the activity poles that we're gonna have you do a little work with. And put these in place here for you. You can hold on kind of the tops of those. So these poles move a little bit, but they give you a little bit of perceptive input through your hands, okay? But what we wanna work on, I'm gonna give you, you got enough slack here, so we get a little bit of slack in the lines here, and we're gonna work on some mini lunges, okay? So now we're moving your base of support. We're moving her base support forward and back. So go ahead and take, uh, let's start with your left leg. Step forward and come on back. Good, another little lunge with your right. 
and then alternate that. Good. Since you're doing so well with that, we're going to get rid of these. So we'll move those out of the way. I want you to do that little mini lunge without holding on. Good. Excellent. So now working on more aggressive with no arm support. Good. Now let's try a backward step. So take a step backwards, a little lunge backwards. Good. You can feel that back there and then come forward. Step forward just a little further. There you go. Now take a step back, catch yourself, and then forward. Now back with the other leg. Just lunge backwards, lunge. Good. Great. Okay. Um, another thing we're going to do, so we're going to take you out of this harness briefly. Unclip you, so you're not clipped in now. I'm going to have you turn around for me. I'm going to pull down our step. Let's actually go a step out of the way just for a moment here. So we're going to pull down our step here. Right now I've got it set on the lowest setting, uh, four inches here. It can go four, six, or eight inches. I'm going to move these out a little bit since we're going to be coming a little farther forward here. Now come up and face the step. And we're going to place these here, give you a little security. Now we're going to go ahead and give you the arm rests here, the more stable arm rests. And I don't want you to use them if you don't need to. Move those in just a little bit, okay? Maybe just touch them lightly with your fingers to start with. But I want you to start working on, first of all, just a step touch. So you're going to take your right foot and you're just going to place it up on the step and bring it back down. Good. And now the left foot. We're going to alternate. Step, touch, and bring it back down. And then go back to the right. Just touch it, just barely on the step there. Good. And then the other side. Now take your arms off that. And try to do that without holding on. Good. Now we're going to do a full step up. So what I want you to do is actually try to step up onto the step without holding on. Good. Now I want you to step backwards off the step and do that again. So this is a full step up and step back down without holding on. Excellent. Okay. So that just gives you a variety of the types of activities you can perform we consider dynamic level two balance activities.